So, you can hand me the bag. We all go home in peace. Or, this could end the discussion. <laughs>action films uh, can not just be shooting and chasing uh, and sometimes can have more deep meanings I like more that way but this time we only had three minutes and three minutes you don't have any time for doing very deep action film I mean this film is all action I mean there isn't anything about it that isn't action I mean from beginning to end it's just Guns blazing, cars driving, people running. I mean, it's just awesome. I, I think the general filming went okay. Uh, it could have run maybe a lot smoother because we had to change location a couple of times. Um, and we weren't really prepared. So, yeah, it, it went okay, but it could have, it could have run a lot, a lot smoother, to be honest. No, the experience is also the experience is very good in general. Divertida, ¿no? Como siempre, trabajar así en pequeños equipos donde todo el mundo tiene un rol distinto y... Bueno, bien, la verdad, bien, la verdad, bien. Pre-production, we didn't had any problem, like, I don't know, having disagreements. It really was, yeah, let's do chasing, let's do a standoff, final, yeah, the good guy wins, everything goes goes well. Three against one will make the hero look better. We need to get in touch with a helicopter company so we can get the air shots. Pre-production actually went okay. We came up with our concept pretty quickly. We came up with the concept of we wanted it to sort of be like the action hero against the bad guys. Um, and we knew that we wanted a fast paced chase scene. So that was, that came together quite quickly to be honest. Yeah. They should be Spanish, man. They should be Spanish. They should be Spanish. Amigo. Reproducción es siempre la parte difícil, ¿no? Se requiere gente creativa, gente con visualización de ideas, gente con un nivel artístico. Yo no lo tengo. Yo no. A mí me van más otras cosas. Pero bueno, fue bien, fue bien, fue bien. My roles were actor, director. Runner, cameraman, scripter. So yeah. What was the question again? Oh yeah, right, right in the the film. Yeah, it w it was good. It took took longer than I expected. I mean, I'm not used to working with amateurs, but yeah, it's it's all a learning process for all of us, you know. For me, working with amateurs, and for them, getting to know the business. So yeah. The whole film is just one massive chase scene. Okay. Yeah. Skip, the <laughs> skip the boring parts, just have the chase. Okay. Well, maybe the ending, the, the ending should be like Mexican standoff. Nice, I don't know. I like your thinking, Andre. Like every production, there's always some problems. Every production it has its it's ups and downs, you know. For the production, we had uh, nice working, of course. We just, everyone was putting ideas in, in the shorts and while acting. You know, I like being the bad guy around there. It's very <laughs> something like that because you can be the people and say, I'm gonna kill you. It's a, Good point. Tal y como leí el guión, supe que este papel era para mí, ¿no? Un típico policía malo. Yo había estado ya en Cuba rodando la película de Che Guevara. Al principio echas de menos tu, tus cosas, tu casa, tu familia, tus amigos. Se hace un poco duro, la verdad, pero, pero bueno, luego, luego aparecen las cosas buenas, ¿no? El, el trabajo, el reconocimiento de ese trabajo, ¿no? El sudor y lágrimas que se echan, pero bueno, al final... He de reconocer que mi trabajo tampoco fue muy difícil, ¿no? Solo fue una línea, pero bueno, una línea es una línea, ¿no? Y sin esa línea, pues la película pierde todo el sentido, ¿no? Y que luego al final el director venga y te diga, oye, pues, pues, pues gracias por esa línea, ¿no? Pues has estado ahí, pues, 
Pues mira, al final, es eso, ¿no? Lo que se lleva uno y... Filming it, being in character, you could, you could being that, um, yeah. part of the Spanish mafia. That, that was pretty fun. But also being the, um, the good guy as well. I mean, there, there's a big twist in the story, so... You know, I have a big role and I have to play two characters, you know, so... It's a, it's a, it's a lot of work, but I mean... But that's why I'm, that's why they pay me the money that they do, because I, ca I can do this, you know. I was told there was going to be Diet Coke in the, in my dressing room, and they gave me normal Coke. Can you believe that? I think after this film, I think Daniel Craig needs to watch out, because I'm after his job. <laughs>